Well, the weather is what we are all watching this week because we know the snow is coming for a lot of us in uh, western Washington, Rebecca, but where and when? Well, today, Steve, is the day that we're getting some snow flurries or very light snow showers up around the northern part of the Olympic Peninsula. So Port Angeles, for instance, may see some snow and we're going to get a little bit of snow here and there up to an inch or so of accumulation is certainly possible. Most of that snow will also pass by across the San Juan Islands and the parts of Whatcom and Skagit counties. But if we go a little farther south to Everett, this is where you could see a flurry. But overall, it's looking really nice today for Everett. You've got blue skies, a cool temperature too. All of us are going to be a little cooler than we were yesterday. Right now for Seattle's waterfront, we have 40 degrees wind out of the south, six miles an hour. So moving on from there to the wind that we're really concerned about, that is up near the Canadian border coming out of that Fraser River Valley. Very cold, dry wind will be gusting up to 40 to 50 miles per hour at times. And so we have a wind advisory impacting that particular area, also impacting parts of western Skagit County and the north coast where the wind gusts could be 40 to 50 miles an hour and it's going to be a cold wind too. It's helping to pull down that cool wind for all of us here in western Washington, just getting the coldest and driest up to the north. So that by the time snow hits the south sound tomorrow, it'll try to work its way up to this area, but this area is going to be so cold and dry with those stronger east winds that it's not going to be as, as good of a chance to accumulate for you. But know that that wind advisory is impacting you today, and it's going to be cold out there with 28 degrees right now in Bellingham. We have 34 for Mount Vernon. Going towards Bremerton, it's 41 degrees and 36 for Tacoma. So it's uh, nothing that will really cause any big snow here. No little disturbance. It's very weak, the one that we do have. And you can see it's just very light snow that's coming across the Strait of Wanafuca and impacting parts of would be in into Mount Vernon. Also a little bit of that snow tracking up into Bering. So tomorrow's weather system, that is what's going to pull even more cold air down from Canada. And it's going to swing moisture right up on top of that cold air. And that's going to happen around South Washington. So the future radar on wind shows it really well. You see a little bit by tomorrow morning, 4.30 a.m., a little bit of light snow around the South Sound. By 11 a.m., you'll see a lot more in the banding of snow starting to build up from the south over Chehalis, trying to get light snow up into Olympia. But it seems like it moves out and then another band returns by 11 o'clock tomorrow night. So that's as far north as that snow goes. It seems to just stop there around South Seattle, but we are looking for some just accumulations are going to be across the board. They'll range from anywhere at two inches of snow in some spots up to 13 inches and in some of those hills. Some of the snow will drift into the areas, making it a higher amount. So if you're along Hood Canal, Mason County, Thurston County, stretching in across Pierce County, you've definitely got to pay attention to what your forecast is and what's happening because as, as we get into tomorrow afternoon and evening, we're really going to have that snow. So snow accumulation by 8 o'clock today, you can see about an inch and a half for Port Angeles. As we get to tomorrow night at 8 o'clock, the higher accumulations are definitely around the South Sound. Olympia, possible five inches of snow, five to six possibly, and maybe about an inch around Seattle. So the mountains today, they are included in the snow as well, partly sunny with flurries. Our high temperatures here in the lowlands are going to be in the upper 30s to low 40s. It's a chilly day, definitely. And we're going to expect our snow to increase again around the South Sound as we get into our Thursday afternoon and evening. And Friday, more snow. The big snow day for all of us is Saturday.